We're going to a castle today. Ireland vlog. So we flew to Ireland yesterday and got in a, an hour and a half of sleep so I was way too tired to start the vlog and nothing interesting happened but today is the beginning of the 10 day vlog in Ireland for you to come meet my family and just hang out, eat lots of food, shop and have some fun so let's go. I want you to meet my Nana. Her name is Diana and Anna. Nana. And this is my mom's mom and she lives in Port Marnock, right? Correct. Say yeah. hi. Hi. Wave to, wave to everyone. Hi. Yay. <laughs> this is my Nana's tiny car and I'm going to get this giant dog into this tiny car. Hop up. Hop up. There you go. Bum in. Perfect. <laughs> I used to live on the cliffs near the sea um, and she used to come horseback riding through here and uh, yeah, do you want to pan around and show them the nice view that I can't appreciate? So we're all walking down this path together and my dad, we're walking this direction and my dad turns to me and goes, you know, if you look out to your right and you look off as far as you can see, you'll see nothing. And I'm like, thanks dad! Making blind jokes at my expense. But apparently, it's a beautiful view. So, this morning, day two, our second full day, I slept until one in the afternoon, accidentally. And, uh, and then we've gone for a nice little walk to get one of my absolute favorite things here, a 99 ice cream, which is essentially just soft serve vanilla ice cream with a flake bar in the middle, but for some reason, it tastes so much better here in Ireland. Mm. All right, so Don't I wanted you to meet just some of my Irish family. So everybody wave and say hello. Yay! Yay! Come on, there's a mosque behind you right here. <laughs> I brought little Canadian gifts for my cousins. So they're in here. Come on, Mom. Show the... There you go. So now I'm going to go give my three little teenage cousins their gifts. Oh, Gal, I'm super excited. <laughs> they're not for you. <laughs> Gal, there's nothing for you. Um, so you guys, if you, I don't, I didn't know you guys. So if you like something that another one has, you guys can divide. <laughs> divide and conquer. Yeah. There you go. Feel free to open. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, holographic. I'm obsessed yeah. with anything holographic. That smells so nice. What did we get? We got gifts. What did we get? Canadian gifts. Oh yeah? Excellent. Where's mine? So I'm out shopping with my two cousins. Hi. You're supposed to introduce yourselves, but <laughs> this is Carrie and this is Amy. They're my teenage cousins and they love makeup as much as I do. And so we were just talking about makeup and their mom used to be a makeup artist and they told me this saying that I think is so funny and I'm bringing it back to Canada. What it's, you, you didn't lick it off the floor. Lick it off the floor. You didn't lick it off the floor. Yeah. So their, her mom was saying that like they didn't get their love of makeup from nowhere, they didn't lick it off the floor. And I'm like, that is the best saying ever. So new, new saying, I'm bringing it to Canada. <laughs> It might be August here in Ireland, but it pretty much feels like early November in Canada. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a summer outfit of the day here in Ireland. So I'm basically wearing this leather jacket with rose roses embroidered on it. And I love it so, so much. And I have like a little black hoodie underneath. And these crazy leggings from, uh, Calvin from Klein. Calvin Klein. Thank you, mom. <laughs> and these amazing mirrored sneakers which if you guys know me you know that these shoes are the epitome of molly and uh yeah so that is how i am staying warm here in ireland we're at the dart station which is why there's train tracks behind me and we're just waiting to catch the dart into town and we're going to a museum again if you know me you know i love history and i love museums it's just one of those weird things so we're going to this museum about the history of ireland called epic right mom epic yeah 
So I think between my dog and this entire outfit of color and shine, I am quite something to be stared at today. Safe to say the rain jacket has come in handy today. We're done at the museum and now we have to walk in the pouring rain. Look at my clear sun or sun jacket. Raincoat though. It has like all this glitter and stuff in it. It's such a me coat. <laughs> my mom, dad, brother and I, and Gallup of course, have been going on this really long hike. And hiking when you're blind is treacherous because you can't see all the rocks and the puddles and the sticks and branches. And so Gallup is going on a lovely walk with my brother on a stretchy leash. And I've clipped Gallup's harness to my dad's backpack and my dad has become my guide human. On along our hike, how fun. I want one. <laughs> Gallup's been enjoying our two hour hike, but he needs some water. And when you don't have a dog bowl, you use a poop bag. He started drinking out of a dirty puddle and that's how we knew. Bob's really sleepy after our big hike. He drank a big bowl of water and now he's taking a little nap. It's a graft the street. So we're just like sitting on the side of Grafton Street. I am exhausted right now. I'm so tired. We had such a long day yesterday with like the hike and then we were with family for like all night and I ended up having like a bunch of work calls so it was just a long night and then we got up early to go into Facebook and have lunch and the Facebook building here is so nice shockingly so sunny right now um, and across from us is Bewley's which used to be my mom's like favorite place and we're just sitting here waiting to meet up with my cousin she's the only Burke cousin that I have very exciting so we're meeting up and we're gonna go to Temple Bar eat some food do some shopping and then tonight we are going to the musical once and I'm really excited because I love musicals yeah it's just like dead taking a rest on my foot right now you guys, I just got my first Irish subscriber. This is so exciting. This is Sarah. Yay! I spent the entire afternoon hanging out all around Dublin and Temple Bar and Grafton Street and Henry Street with my cousin Heather, who you probably saw standing with Sarah and I. And now we're going to the musical once. But it's so cool, before the show starts, you're allowed to like come onto the stage and there's a bar so you can get drinks if you want to and just like explore the set. How cool is that? I've never seen that. I've been to a lot of plays. You guys, I've been out shopping at the mall all day and they have this train that they drive around the mall and I'm getting to sit in the driver's seat, but I'm not gonna drive the train, don't worry. But Gallup and I and my cousin Carrie, who's amazing, are gonna go on one of the train cars and we're gonna travel around the mall. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm such a conductor. In the train, Gallup and I have our own little car here, right at the front. Gallup, are you excited to go on the train ride? I'm a little confused about what's happening right now. I think he likes it. <laughs> I'm driving the door. <laughs> Sleepy. It's been such a long trip, I need a nap. <laughs> That's such beautiful lavender. I'm just smelling it. It's gonna send me right to sleep. It's amazing. So here sitting beside me, I have my Nana and my Muddy, my two grandmas. And this is my mom's mom. This is my dad's mom. One lives in England, one lives in Ireland, but they are both originally from Ireland, so they both have cute little accents. And uh, Muddy, where did we get Muddy from? Why do we call you Muddy? Everybody always asks. Because I, I, I don't remember, but I think what happened was one of the kids, you, one of your eldest brother or something, couldn't say um, grandma or something. Oh, I know what it was. Grandma was being used by the other half of the, of the family, and so they called, and I was called Muddy. No, 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 I meant my grandmother yeah, was yeah. Muddy. Your grandmother, And yeah. so that they called me Muddy too. Oh, okay. It's and a kind of an... Uh, Slang, not a slang word, but an abbreviation of Mutter, which is mother in German. 
Not that we're German. Well, in any well way. there was Germans in our family. Was there? Oh yes, very much so. Oh my gosh, great I might be partly German. Great great grandparents. How have German. I never known that I think we might have to do one of those um bloodline tests on my channel so we can see what my bloodline is because I always thought I was just Irish Canadian. And where did we get Nana from? I'm not terribly sure. Did you just not like grandma? <laughs> no, your brother calls him Brady. It was Brady. Was it? My yeah. brother? Yeah. Couldn't, he couldn't say Nana, so he said, no, he, could, he couldn't, what was it, something to do with banana and Nana? His first word was banana. No, his first word was Nana. I beat him out with one syllable, with my first word being banana. Yeah, you so, have and then so I'm, I'm now Pat. <laughs> You're now Nana, not Pat. Not to Pat's me. Brady, my brother, I'd calls like you to be Pat, called though. Sheila. I'm too old to be grandmother. No, you're not. <laughs> you're too old to be grandmother. It seems like an oxymoron. That's true. <laughs> All right, well, we have to go off for a lovely dinner, so goodbye okay. now. Bye. Bye. The thing that I really love about Dublin is that all of the street crossings here have like bumps on the ground for accessibility, so it's tactile for a cane or feet for the blind. And it beeps to let us know we can go. This is where my baby Gallop has been sleeping our whole trip. My giant dog can make himself tiny when he wants to. Uh, but now it's time to head home. Let's go to the airport, Gallop. Let's go to the airport. We're already heading home and I have a cupcake to eat. My cousin Carrie, who's only 14, made the icing and the cupcake all from scratch. It used to look a lot prettier. It was like totally swirled, like all professional. Like this is the best cupcake I've ever had. I ate another one last night. And she put um, edible glitter on it because she knows I love glitter. She's like the sweetest cousin ever. So thank you, Carrie. And thank you to all my other family for being so hospitable in these 10 days that we've been here. It's time to head home. I will miss you all, but I'm excited to go back to my sunny Canada and my big bed. Bye, guys. So we're home from Ireland now. And it appears that we have brought the Irish weather back with us. It's a little rainy out, so I'm sitting under an umbrella to just finish this vlog out. I feel like I didn't get as many vlog clips for this video as I wanted to get. And that's just because the trip was honestly like so busy. Like you guys only saw a clip of like a few of my family members. There is a lot of family you guys didn't see that we saw. We have a lot of family. I always think of myself as somebody who has a small family, but that's because I live in Canada where I only have one aunt and one cousin, or two cousins, and that's it. And so for me, I don't feel like I have a big family because that's what I've grown up with. And then I go there and I'm like, nope, I have a massive family. I just don't see them very often. So I didn't want to spend all of my time with these family members that I see every couple of years vlogging it. So you guys only saw such a small snippet of my family and a small snippet of the trip. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. I just thought I'd finish this vlog out by showing you some of my favorite finds. I did some good shopping in Ireland. I'm not going to show you everything, but I just picked some of my favorite things to show you. So, I will start with these, my new Doc Martens. I know Doc Martens aren't for everybody, but I love Doc Martens. I've worn them ever since I was a little girl. Um, and I've always had floral ones and so when I went and I decided I wanted a new pair of docks because I haven't had any since I haven't had any in years sorry about the noise we live on a street corner um, I knew I wanted to get a floral pair like I used to have and so these ones have apparently multiple different colors and patterns of floral on them so I think these will be good for really pretty much any season in Canada because I think even in the summer you could rock these with shorts so I think these were a good purchase although I know they will be hell to break in and they were quite expensive more expensive than I expected but I think they'll be worth it I really like them so that's my favorite item of not my favorite item so that's one of my favorite items that I want to show you one of the next favorite items I want to show you that I picked up was actually a gift from my Nana who you guys met in the video and I think you might have seen this in the vlog if it made it and now there's a siren my apologies so it's from a store called Avoca, which is like one of my absolute favorite stores to go to when I go to Ireland. And it's just wrapped up. I haven't worn it yet. I haven't taken it out of the package since I got it. And it is a long skinny necklace with a rose gold flamingo on it. And I think it's so precious. Honestly, if we had had time to go back to Avoca, I would have gone back and picked up more of this jewelry line. 
I don't know if there's a name, like a brand on it. Big Metal London. Big Metal London. They had some really cute pieces at Avoca. There was a silver one that was um, a cactus, and that was super cute. And there was a pineapple one. They were all really cute. So very trendy, very cute. Really happy with that. Thank you, Nana. The next things I'm going to show you are from my uncle, Boff who is my godfather. Yeah. He is my, uh, one of my mom's brothers. She's the oldest of four and she has three younger brothers. So I picked up these snazzy sunglasses and they were only like three euro from pennies. So such a steal, love these. I'm so sad I didn't pick up more sunglasses from pennies because I picked up three pairs. They were all so cheap and I don't know why I didn't pick up more because you guys know I have a love of sunglasses especially like pretty out there ones and they had so many cute pairs I should have I should have gone to pennies and picked up more of them so many cute ones and then I got these ones which aren't really sunglasses they're like pink lenses that you can totally see through well I can't because I'm blind and then they have turquoise like aqua light blue on the side and I just think they're so fun and I love circle glasses. I love metallic lenses, I love circle glasses. So I'm obsessed with those three pairs. Thank you, Boff, and thank you to my cousin, Carrie, for helping me pick them out. The next thing I thought I would show you is this adorable little sheep and it's made from like real wool. And we got this at the uh, Museum Epic in Dublin and my Muddy picked it up for me. So my other grandma, my dad's mom. And then the final thing I thought I'd show you is my Molly jeans. You guys might know I have a weird thing of like I like anything that's named with my name. So like I have my uh, Molly Metro from Rebecca Minkoff and I have these Molly jeans. I love, I love like going on websites and just searching my name and seeing if anything comes up. And these came up uh, at River Island. I saw them a few years ago and I didn't pick them up. And when I went back this time, I decided it was time to pick them up and they are so comfortable. They're like super stretchy jeggings. These are a light gray color with rips and they're skinny and I cuff them at the ankle cause I'm short and River Island does make short jeans, but they didn't have these ones in size, like in a short size eight. So that's that. I think a size eight equates to like a zero here in Canada, maybe. And a size six is a double zero. I think that's how it works. Anyways, that's what I got. Oh, and I also picked up this shirt that I'm wearing. I figure I'll just mention that because I'm wearing it. So I got this in Ireland and it has this little crest on the chest that says, too cute for this planet I think and it's like a little alien and I recently received my O1 one visa um, which is the alien of extraordinary ability visa and so I have this weird thing for aliens now so when I saw this little alien top when I was shopping with my cousin Heather who you might have seen in the clip on Grafton Street where I met the subscriber Sarah that was my cousin Heather the blonde one with the glasses on that's my cousin Heather and she's my only Burke cousin in the whole wide world which is really cool and she's amazing where we only met for the first time three years ago and it was like instant connection we are the same person it's crazy so I love you Heather you're the best and what else um, oh and this was from pull and bear on Henry Street in case any of you are from Dublin and wondering I also met another subscriber when I was there Derek um, one of my last nights there when I went to a big actually the night I filmed that clip with uh, Muddy and Nana I met Derek that night when we were at dinner. So hello Derek, hello Sarah. Thank you guys so much for coming up to me when I was in Ireland. It was so cool getting to meet some of my Irish subscribers. And yeah, thank you to my family for being so hospitable and putting up with my mom, dad, Gallup and I while we were there. It was amazing just getting to see my brother and spend time with him. He moved to Dublin in January, so we haven't seen him since. And we won't see him till he comes home for Christmas. So that was a definite highlight of my trip. And it was just overall great to see everybody and eat all the Irish ice creams and um, yeah, it was amazing. So thank you all so much. I love you and I hope you enjoyed this weird little mishmash vlog video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.